Hey YouTube, thank you for visiting us here at Cooking with G-Dubs and I'm your host G-Dubs. What I'm gonna cook for you today is I'm gonna prepare for you some kale, but I'm gonna make it a Caribbean, kind of Italian, a fusion of all of that. So uh, it's gonna be absolutely delicious, I could promise you that, and you'll see what I'm talking about when I show you what I'm doing. All right, so without further ado, let me show you what I'm working with. All right, of course, I have four bags of kale, and this is a kale that I got from my local grocery store, and they're already pre-washed, pre you know, cleaned and everything, and prepared in bags, ready to cook. All right, and then what I have is some mushrooms, and I have some red onions, and then what I have here is I have some frozen sliced white onions, green peppers, and red peppers. You can get this at your local grocery store. I like to use a lot of either fresh or frozen vegetables. And, and for my family, that's the best option because we don't ever use anything in a can. So this is a, a wonderful alternative is uh, either fresh or frozen veggies. All right. And what I have also is I have uh, three tablespoons of tomato paste. Of course, I have my ippies. And you can see how I make this on my on my channel. You can check it out. And it's and I have cilantro, Italian parsley, red onions, rosemary, thyme, basil, bell peppers, cloves, ginger, garlic, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and a little bit of water. And I have this at various increments. And this is what I do to come up with this. And as you see, it's very it's very rich and uh, it makes your food absolutely tasty. So you don't have to worry about using powder, all right? And then of course I have my Himalayan salt. And this right here is one teaspoon of Himalayan salt. And of course I have my mild Italian ground sausage. All right, so without further ado, let us go into putting it together, all right? All right, so what I have here is I have my big fat pot, because uh, as you know, with the kale and other uh, leafy greens, um, they are very, very full when you start to cook it, but they all cook down. So I'm gonna start off with my big pot and you go to see. Uh, what I have in here now is I just have um, about eight cups of water and I put a, a little pinch of salt and I'm gonna put my kale in it. I'm gonna just dump my kale in there. I'm gonna let it cook for about about 15 minutes or so. Let's go ahead and just put all your kale in. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. The nice thing about green vegetables is it's very healthy for you. And when you cook it right, you could jazz it up a variety of different ways. So this is one way that I choose to um, jazz it up for my family. And if you do it this way, your family will love it. And they're gonna want you to cook it for them all the time. And you could put it on the, 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 na the natural rotation of foods and dishes that you prepare for your family every week. So then that way you can have a nice variety and you could keep it healthy. All right, because you know, the whole purpose here at Cooking with G-Dubs is to teach you how to cook healthy. All right? All right, so we're going to let this cook, and I have my uh, water. I'm going to let this boil, and I put it on high heat. And while this is cooking, we're going to cook separately. We're going to make our sauce that we're going to do to combine the two together, all right? And what I have here is I have my saucepan. All right, so in my saucepan, what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna take some olive oil, put it at the bottom. And then I'm gonna take my Italian sausages. This is nice and hot. Take the paper off the back, and we're just gonna just dump it in. And we're gonna let that get hot and we're gonna cook this. And we're gonna cook it until it's fully, until it's well done. And then we're gonna add our other ingredients to it. So in order to help it cook really well, I'm gonna add just a little bit of water, just a little bit, just so it'll start to steam. All right, and we're right back. All right, YouTube, now our uh, 
sausages is just about done it's cooked and as you can see this is what it looks like all right and what we're going to do now is while this is cook, uh, cooking and we're going to check on our kale and our kale we're going to stir it and make sure that we take the the kale that's at the bottom and bring it to the top so that it'll cook nice and evenly, okay? And it's steaming like crazy as you can see. It's almost ready as well, all right? So we're gonna let that continue to cook and then what we're gonna do now is we're going to take our um, tomato paste, we're gonna dump it in All right, set that aside. And we're gonna stir this up really well. And we mix it up really nicely. And then what we're gonna do is next, is we're gonna take our apis, put it in. Next, we're gonna take about a cup of water, I said a cup and a half of water, put it in, and we give it a, a stir. And then we go to take our onions and peppers, go dump that in. Put on all of it. And once we combine the flavors of all of this, you gotta see, it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. And we're gonna take our red onions and put it in. And then last but not least, we're gonna take our salt, and dump it in. So we combine all of our ingredients and then we're gonna let this all sweat together and cook together, and then we're gonna check on it in a, in a few minutes. Woo wee! Look at that. Dang, go on. Look at how that looks, YouTube. Don't that look delicious? But before we start talking too much, let's see what it tastes like. And this is the sauce that we're gonna put in our kale. Wow, this is good. I'm just gonna put a little bit more salt, but you uh, can salt it as much as you want. It may be perfect for some, and those who have to watch their salt intake, you could uh, do it accordingly, okay? But Overall, with what we put in it is delicious, okay? Taste one more time. Now it's just right. All right, so now we're gonna slide over to our kale. And our kale is just about cooked. It's, it's, it's really, really well. And what we're gonna do is, remember I had uh, my mushrooms. We're gonna dump it in. All right, now I put my mushrooms, and now let's combine it. Now we just combined the two ingredients. We're gonna let this merge together a little bit. 
and then we'll be ready to plate. Oh man, this is oof, will be absolutely delicious. Make sure we give it a good stir. Let everything just blend together. And we'll just let it boil together for about five minutes and then we're ready to plate. All right, now that you've seen what it looks like in the pot, now I have plated it and look at what it looks like. Don't that look delicious, YouTube? Now for the moment I've been waiting for. Let's see what it tastes like. Take a little bit of the kale, some of the Italian sausages. Mm. This is delicious. This is delicious. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. I tell you too, you eat kale like this, you are going to love it. The nice thing about kale, it doesn't have a really, really strong flavor. So whatever meat you use to, to mix with your kale, it is it's going to make it delicious. So I'm gonna make it other ways. I'm gonna show you on other videos how we could be able to do different things with kale to jazz it up. And I'll be more than happy to share with you. Check it out on our, uh, on our, uh, on our YouTube channel at Cooking with G-Dubs and you'll see all the recipes, how to do it, and check out how I did this. I wanna put the, the list of ingredients in the description so you can do it yourself. Again, thank you so very much for checking us out here with Cooking with G-Dubs, and I'm your host, G-Dubs. Until the next video.